Hello, I'm Ben Miller. This is my new children's book. It's called The Boy Who Made the World Disappear, and it's about a boy who misbehaves at a birthday party, and instead of a balloon, they give him a black hole on a piece of string. Um, for ages... 7 to 12, should we say? 7 to 12. I mean, I think from 7 to 12. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. For children of all ages. I'm in Waterstones Piccadilly and I'm going to share with you my three favourite children's books. I'm going to start with this Enid Blyton book, The Faraway Tree. Um, Secret Seven, obviously fantastic, Famous Five, wonderful. But this book I think is really, really great for children. It's about this tree. They, these children move to the countryside. There's a huge tree they climb and on top is a ladder and they can go to all these incredible different worlds. And uh, there it is. A faraway tree, that says, but like the faraway tree. It's wrong. Hello, Ben Miller, still loitering in Waterstones Piccadilly. My second recommendation is this uh, by a fantastic author, Alex T. Smith, Claude. This one's Claude in the City. There's a whole, um, there's a whole <laughs> mirage, I was about to say, but uh, Panopoly, that's the word I was after, of Claude books. Um, this is probably the, the starter, Claude. Um, and uh, my seven-year-old boy read this, um, hadn't really got into reading at all, and it was when he picked up Claude that he really, really developed a passion for reading. So I can't recommend it enough. Um, all about a naughty dog called Claude who wears a beret. Still Ben Miller, still Waterstones Piccadilly. Here we go. Here's my third pick. Um, and uh, yes, what can I tell you about this? Well, it's a, it's a translation of Sir Gavin and the Green Knight um, by Simon Armitage. My... Uh, father read this to me when I was a child, and I just read it to my seven-year-old, who absolutely loved it. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic romp through medieval England. I mean, amazing, full of sort of magic and daring do and terrifying green knights. Um, and it's, it's really interesting because you, you'd think that it's, it's too fruity and poetic, a seven-year-old but my seven-year-old um really really got it and absolutely loved it and still talks about it there we go Sagawid in the green night simon armitage Shh. miller waterstones piccadilly um this is uh, just out in paperback actually this is my book from last year uh, the night i met father christmas um extremely festive um <laughs> ideal stocking filler this this is a story about a boy um who well, a friend at school mentions a rumour that Father Christmas doesn't exist. And the boy in the story decides to stay up and meet Father Christmas, does so, gives Father Christmas a terrible fright. Father Christmas twists his ankle and the boy goes with him on his sleigh to help him deliver his presents. And as they go, Father Christmas tells him the story of how he became Father Christmas. Two stories in one.